what makes you so interested in Spectre Wallet? Why did you start contributing to it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so my I think one of my last articles was about how, why it's so important to, to use a full node. So again, I was writing in order to grasp things myself. So as I started writing about it and uh, researching about it, I kind of quite understood why it's so important that everybody use their own full node. Uh, not just for privacy, but also, of course, for their own privacy, but also in terms of the entire network. So if, uh, this, um, the payment verification of, of Bitcoin, of how you verify if you have Bitcoin or not, if uh, a transaction is valid or not, uh, is too centralized. If this verification becomes too centralized, then Bitcoin becomes very, very vulnerable, uh, to, uh, attacks from either, uh, big actors like nation states, or from collaboration between these uh, payment ver uh, verification uh, providers. So as I was researching that, uh, I was also looking on a way to use my uh, my own node um, uh, with you know with hard wallets with multisig. Uh, I was just trying to, to figure that out, and there was Electrum pretty much. Uh, I think only that <laughs> at the time, and it was working but it was very very annoying and very inconvenient for me I would say at least um especially when you didn't have this node in a box thing uh back then so yeah so electrum was quite annoying to to work with so it's looking for alternatives and then i just uh kind of stumbled upon specter on on twitter and so a video of uh stepan making uh, multi seed with with hardware wallets with your own node in like uh, two minutes, so I, was, I, I had just had to try it out, and it was so easy to set up for me, and you know I just started using it practically immediately, uh, and then yeah, I just you know scratch your own itch at first, so I was I wanted to to have some feature or fix some bug, so I just did it myself, um, and it kind of escalated from that to uh, working on this project now uh, pretty much full time. And so how does Spectre actually solve the problem? How does Spectre use the Bitcoin Core client? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, of course you can always use the Bitcoin Core client, but then it doesn't have uh, many features. So it doesn't uh, support multi-sig from the UI. It doesn't allow uh, convenient uh, hardware wallet integration from the UI, uh, but it does have a ton of features from, from the command line. So it's very powerful. Uh, it's the most popular and Probably most uh, reviewed and secured software in at least in the Bitcoin space, if not one of the, the most secured software in the world. So yeah, it's it makes a lot of sense to use that. But the, again, the the graphic UI, uh, the user interface is very very limited for a few reasons. Uh, but then what what Spectre does, it just connects to it to the uh, RPC server. So basically the, the, all the backend functionality of, of Bitcoin Core, and it just uses that for its, uh, for most of the things, for most of the operations, uh, I would say, uh, and gives you just a, a, a much uh, easier to use interface. So it gives you uh, an interface with where you can use uh, hardware wallets, uh, multi-sig, um, whatever you want, uh, basically. So it just, to, to make things easier for the user to use their own node. 